everybody, and this is Lilac Lavenderlicious, and today we are playing I Am Isn't Innocent. Let's begin. Ex-girlfriend, we split up five years ago now, but we're still close. I think she regrets how everything turned out. Had a dream about you today. Was it a good dream? Was it a nightmare? Was it a nightmare? A terrible dream. I'm still processing it. If you don't want to tell me, you do not have to. No, I need to tell somebody about this. You and I are in our old apartment. I'm lying on the bed and you're sitting at your computer, as usual. I'm watching you and trying to fall asleep. Suddenly, I feel someone starting to choke me. I try calling out to you, but I can't. I can't move. I can't scream. It's getting harder to breathe, even though no one is around. Yeah, let's see what else we got on here while she's doing that. Internet. Well, I need a password. Roulette. Ah. Sound on, sound off. Credits log in. Five dollars for free. Photographer site. Eh, we can only do this right now. It's getting harder to breathe, even though no one is around. It was just this terrible feeling of helplessness. Hey, calm down. It was just a dream. How did it end? Gotta take it seriously. I understood that at the end of it all, but I couldn't do anything about it. It was terrifying. Then I woke up. But everybody has nightmares. Just forget it. Uh, I can't. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to tell somebody, hey, your dreams mean nothing. Because, you know, some people have bad dreams and to them it's very meaningful. Let me tell you a story about my clients instead. Okay. A couple of months ago, I was the photographer at a young couple's wedding. Okay. Hmm, what? Photographer site? Ah, uh, that takes us off the page. It's ridiculous. Okay. After the wedding, I needed two months to process all the photos and send them to my client. 
That sounds awesome. So I processed them, then called the young woman up to send the photos and guess what she says. I don't know. Sorry, we don't need the pictures anymore. We've already split up. That's why I'll never get married. But did they pay you? Of course. Well, then it's good. By the way, speaking of weddings... I don't know. I can't say that I wouldn't want to get married. My sister is getting married in a month. Woo! Good for you. Oh, yeah. You're talking about this with your ex. Stalemate. I don't approve of her choice. Most arrogant bore you've ever met. But I have to go to the wedding. Yep. If I'm there alone, my aunt will spend the whole evening introducing me to their offspring. Ugh. That'd be awkward. You have to save me. Can you come with me for some company? Sorry, but you know I don't like weddings. Sure, why not? I hope you don't have to dance with your aunt Sarah. But we are not getting back together. Exes are exes. Okay, then we'll be in touch. Details. She regrets how everything turned out. Relationship. Perfect. Damn it, she won't let me see my daughter, Carl. Okay. My old friend, after the tragedy with his wife, he only recovered for one reason, and... Okay. Even though the law says today is my day, she says Emma is sick. Maybe Emma really is sick. And then he's going to say, no, she said this every week this month. Eh, I don't think so. I called her yesterday and she couldn't wait to see me. Well, some people are like that. How can her very own grandmother interfere so much with her granddaughter's happiness? Oh, well. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, details. Tragedy with his wife. Only recovered for one reason. Every thought he had was for his daughter, Emma. Wow. <laughs> I'll get Emma back home soon enough. Her place is with her father. But the authorities think otherwise, don't they? Yeah, you changed. I'll say yeah, he's changed. Okay. Yes, now to get the authority to see it that way. Always worried about formalities, my income, personal properties. I'm working on this, you know. Yep. Not much time left. Well, you can do it. Oh, on the subject of money, there's a new delivery in. Really? What kind? 
Come on, Carl. Don't fuck with me. Carl. Carl. What you doing, Carl? Oh. You can invest five coins or ten coins. Okay, mister. Now you're messing with me. Dude. The more you invest, the more I can buy and resell. Dude. Carl, you ain't gonna use me. You better not use me, Carl. How dare you. Uh, seriously, dude. You have 20. Send. You know what? I'll send you 10. But that's it. Okay, that guy's offline. Well, we will continue this game in the next episode of The Innocent. Oh, isn't this a great thing to pause with? Well, I will see y'all later. Bye-bye.